hey, if you're thinking about starting a boutique business, uh, whether that's a physical retail location uh, or an online boutique, or maybe a mixture of both, both a physical presence and online e-commerce uh, based boutique, then you've come to the right place uh, because we have developed a financial projection template specifically for boutiques, uh, both physical locations and online based businesses. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to use this template to create a set of financial projections that's going to help you when you're pitching to potential investors or trying to secure a loan from the bank and they've asked you for financial projections. Uh, but first of all, my name is Adam Hooksema. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub and over the years we have helped over 50,000 entrepreneurs create financial projections for all sorts of different industries. Uh, but today we're specifically focused on this boutique financial projection template. And I'm going to dive in and show you how to use it. Um, I will link to this template uh, in the description of the video below so you can go grab it there and then follow along. Let's dive in. So the first place I want to start is on the at a glance tab. Now this is kind of the end of the process here. Um, once you have filled out this template, you're going to get this nice at a glance tab with profit and loss at a glance. You're going to be able to see uh, five years of revenue and profit. And you're going to get some nice summary data that is breaking down both the retail, uh, physical retail stores, and the e-commerce revenue as well, so the online business as well. And if you only focus on um, just physical location sales or just e-commerce, you can put zeros in for the other segments and this template's gonna work just as well for you. You're also gonna get some nice graphs, some startup use of funds and um, some different break-even graphs as well. You'll also have a five-year income statement summary and then a five-year cash flow summary, a five-year balance sheet summary, and then an income statement uh, cash flow statement and balance sheet all broken down by month for each of the five each month of the five years. Um, so you'll have that detail that you need if if, you, if your bank is requiring that. All right, so that is kind of the deliverable. Let's see how we get to that point. So the first thing I want to mention here is that every cell in the template that is highlighted in blue is an assumption that you can change without breaking anything in the model. Uh, so we've got uh, the ability to put in a projection start month, and then we can add uh, investors, so equity investment. So maybe um, you're, you're putting in some money of your own, and then maybe you're also uh, finding other investors as well. And so what we've done, and the way I filled this particular template out is uh, with the concept of having uh, both an online and physical presence and then a multi-unit approach. So assuming that we're gonna be opening multiple stores, um, and I'm gonna show you how to, to do that in the model. And so you'll see kind of these additional rounds of equity funding that we've added, and you can see which month that that investment is coming in here. So starting month zero, and then six, and 15, and 30. And that aligns with our opening of these new retail uh, stores that I'll show you. You also will see in the fixed assets, so we've got store one through four leasehold improvements that we'll be doing um, and what we expect that to cost and what month those expenses will hit. And we have a business loan for each store as well. So we're assuming we're gonna maybe go out and get an SBA loan for each of the stores as we open them. So now let's jump over to our input revenue tab. And here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the physical retail uh, location first. So we're saying, hey, we're open six days a week. And you can see this is the schedule for the opening month of the different stores. So store one, we're opening in month two of the projections. And store two opens in month six, month 15 and month 30, so on. Um, and then here what you can do is you can say how many visitors per store per day are you gonna get? And then what kind of conversion rate of those visitors, what, what percentage of them are going to actually buy something? And so this really depends on the type of retail store you have. Um, you know, at the grocery store, people don't probably just go to the grocery store uh, just to look around. So you probably have a very high conversion rate. If you go, probably get a 90% conversion rate that people are gonna buy something, right? Uh, now at a clothing boutique, uh, maybe you're just going out to shop, check to see if there's anything new, new items, and maybe you have a much lower conversion rate, maybe just 25%. So that's what um, we put in here. And then you can see the average number of products purchased per transaction or per customer um, that we can put in those assumptions here as well. That's gonna give us an estimate of the number of products sold. And then we can break down by product category. Um, you could do by specific product if you wanted to, but um, we kind of do this by category because you, if you have you know hundreds of different SKUs in the in the store, you're not going to want to put all of those in here. Um, so you probably put these in broad buckets like clothing, uh, you know maybe home goods, um, food, that sort of thing. And you have the ability in this table to say what month is this product or category launching. So here we're saying, hey, uh, 
category number five isn't going to start until year two. We're not going to offer this. Um, this is going to be an expansion, but in year two or month 13, we'll launch this uh, product category. And then you have the average price point per product here. And then the cost, what's your cost or the cost of goods sold for that product. And then this relative popularity. So this is a little bit tricky, um, but there's a note here that helps you. Um, so the way you need to think about this is um, a, if you put in a one, for relative popularity for product category one and you put in two for product category two. Product category two is gonna sell twice as much product as category one because it's two to one, right? So for every, for every two of these products you sell, you're gonna sell one of product category one, if that makes sense. So um, if you put in 10, and that's saying, hey, this is really popular. This is our most popular product. We sell 10 of these for every one of this category. So you can, um, you can put in your relative popularity of the different products. And it, it's just to give a rough estimate of that popularity of the product. All right, so then um, moving on to the e-commerce side of things here. And we can put in um, an advertising budget. So let's say we're gonna do online advertising to get visitors to the website. And then some percentage of those uh, visitors here are going to convert into uh, customers. And so then we'll have a total number of orders. And then what number of items per order do we expect to have? And then we have the same process here where for the e-commerce um, items, you'll want to put in the same product and category details. The one thing you'll notice differently here is there's also a column for cost of shipping and packaging um, that, that, is, that you're gonna pay uh, out for, for those sales. So. And that will um, complete our projections for the revenue side of things on both the physical retail locations and on um, e-commerce. Now jumping over to our input other expenses, um, you'll have the ability to enter in different operating expenses here. And you can add these expenses as a fixed dollar amount. So that means it's the same dollar amount each month, but um, adjusted by inflation. So you have the ability to have an annual inflation rate here that you can add for the operating expenses. And then you can also have expenses that are on a per store basis. So for example, you might have an advertising budget uh, of $500 per month per store that we spend. And then you, the last thing you can do is a percentage of revenue. So you might have an expense like credit card processing fees that is a percentage of revenue. So we've got a 3% um, credit card processing fee built in here. All right, now jumping over to the input salaries tab here. Here you can enter in um, different salaried positions. And these would be kind of, with, with the way that we built this out with a multi-unit model, where you have multiple stores, we have up top here, the concept of like, these are the corporate level employees. And then you have down below the per store staff. So here you might just have, you know, kind of your VP of marketing, your CEO, your controller, your top accounting person, and maybe a, a product buyer that's buying product for all the different stores. Um, and of course you may have more corporate level employees as well, but that gives you an idea. And then on the per store, each store that opens is gonna have its own manager and then part-time staff. And one thing you'll notice over here is that you can put in the number of this particular employee. So we're saying, hey, each store is gonna have four part-time staff paid $45,000 a year. So that, that's um, how we'll uh, fill this out. And once you have all those things filled out, you're right back to where we started here at the profit and loss at a glance. And uh, you can see here with this, the way I filled this out, was, hey, we are going to kind of take over the world. We're opening four stores. We're opening an e-commerce business um, kind of all at once. And so we expect kind of heavy losses in the first couple of years, but then uh, really start to ramp up to profitability in the further out years and years four and five. So um, that's just an example of one way to fill it out. Now the template works really well. Um, if you just have a single store and uh, maybe a small e-commerce website as well, you can fill it out um, that way as well. If you have any questions about how to fill out the template or make it work for your particular uh, boutique concept or, or retail business model, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can email us at support at projectionhub.com and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.